In this video, we will be discussing a magnetic field from H.C. Verma and objective 1 will be covered in this video only. So, in the first question, there is a positive charge which is uh, projected towards east and it is deflected towards north. So, V cross B should be the direction of force which is towards north. Velocity is towards east. So, magnetic field should be downward only then the force will be towards north. You can see V cross B will be towards this direction. This is the north direction. And uh, only in this case it will be the force will be towards north and the particle will be deflected towards north. In the next part, in the next question, there is a charged particle which is moving in a horizontal circle with the help of a string and uh, when a magnetic field is switched on in the vertical direction so we have to comment on the tension whether it will increase or decrease so in this if the magnetic field which is switched on is into the plane of paper the magnetic field force will also be in this direction you can see v cross b is in this direction assuming the charge to be positive so tension will decrease because there is two centripetal forces so tension will decrease and if there is a magnetic field which is in outward out of the plane of paper which is switched on the magnetic force will be in this direction and hence the tension will increase so both the cases are possible at, as it is not specified whether the magnetic field which is switched on is into the plane of paper or is out of the plane of paper in the next question it is being asked that which of the charge will experiences maximum force magnetic force when projected with same velocity in a uniform magnetic field as force is proportional to uh, charge its speed and inversely proportional to uh, sorry uh, qvb and is proportional to magnetic field so we can say v and b are same for all the charges so force is proportional to q so maximum force for li2 plus because it is the only charge which is having two positive charge all other charges are having single charge so in the next part question number four which of the following particles will describe the smallest circle when projected with the same velocity so again the radius of the circle should be smallest as the radius of the circle in a magnetic field is defined by mv by qb v and b are same so whichever has least value of m by q in this case electron has the least value of m by q so it will have the smallest radius in out of all the given four charges in the next question we have to find which charge will uh, revolve with least frequency so time period is given by 2 pi m by qb and the frequency is inverse of that so we can say frequency is proportional to q by m so the particle which has max uh, which has largest m by q which is in this case li plus will have least value of q by m so least frequency and maximum time so in this case li plus will revolve with the least frequency in the next question it is being asked that there's a circular loop area is given current in the loop is given it is placed such that magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of loop we have to find the torque as torque is given by m cross b and from the diagram we can say that in this magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the loop so it is parallel or anti-parallel it may be anti-parallel also to the magnetic moment but in both the cases m and b are will be in the same line so torque has to be zero as the angle between m and b will be either zero or 180 degree so in the next question in the next question it is being asked that uh, if proton and electrons which are moving with the same speed goes through a thin region of perpendicular magnetic field so they will move in a circle and uh, what about their path they will be deviated by equal or different angles so again then they will go undeviated no obviously both will experience force in opposite directions 
and uh, their radius of curvature will be different because of their different masses even though v b and m or v b and q are same but they will experience different accelerations and uh, because of different mass there will be difference in radius also so they will be deviated by different angles and uh, you can say that they will be different they will be accelerated by different accelerations they will move in a different path and they will be def uh, deviated by different angles hence they will separate in this video uh, an example is taken let's suppose that these two charges positive and negative are moving with same b and in under the same magnetic field magnetic field b this will experience a force in upward and this will experience a force in downward direction the radius of curvature for r plus for proton will be more as compared to electron as the mass of the electron is very less in comparison to the proton in the next question there is a charged particle which is moving in uniform magnetic field the velocity at some instant makes an acute angle with the magnetic field the path of the particle will be helical with the uniform pitch as magnetic field cannot change the speed so v parallel component of magnetic uh, component of velocity parallel to magnetic field will take it in forward direction whereas the component perpendicular to magnetic field will try to move a circular path so the motion will be a helical motion with uniform pitch in the next question it is asked if there is a parallel electric and magnetic field so what will be the motion and a particle is thrown perpendicular to the field so the motion will be like this if particle is given a velocity it will move in a circle and because of electric field it will be drifted towards this direction also and as the velocity in this direction increases the pitch will increase whereas the time period will remain same so the pitch will increase but it will uh, be a helical path again with non-uniform pitch so so answer should be d and the next part uh, there's a current which is entering and leaving a uniform cross uh, uniform wire of radius a through two diametrically opposite points and there's a charge which is at the center at that instant and moving with the speed v we have to find what will be the force experienced by it as the magnetic field at the center in this situation is zero because equal amount of current will be divided and these magnetic fields will be opposite to each other and hence the net magnetic field at the center will be zero we can say the charge will not experience any force because the magnetic field at the center is zero so force on it will be zero thank you